वेलकम पार्ट थर्टीन फॉर टी सी एस मार्ट हेरिंग फॉर बी एस सी एंड बी सी ए सी लांग्वेज मल्टीपल चॉइस क्वेश्चन आल्सो कॉल्ड एज सी एम सी पेपर्स और ऑब्जेक्टिव इज टू क्लियर योर असेसमेंट कंडक्टेड बाई टी सी एस ऑन फिफ्थ जनवरी टू सो क्वेश्चन नंबर वन वाट विल बी द आउटपुट ऑफ द फॉलोइंग प्रोग्राम इफ आर्गमेंट पास टू कमेडलेंट आर्गमेंट प्रोग्राम वन टू फोर वन फोर टू हैश इंक्लूड एस टी डी आई ओ डॉट हेच इंट मेन इंट आर्ग सी कैरेक्टर आर्ग वी इंट जे जे इज इक्वल टू आर्ग वन प्लस आर्ग टू माइनस आर्ग थ्री प्रिंट ऑफ पर्सन एस डी जे रिटर्न जीरो सो आर्ग वन कंटेन्स वन आर्ग टू कंटेन्स फोर मीन्स वन प्लस फोर फाइव माइनस आर्ग थ्री टू फाइव माइनस टू थ्री बट here arg1 arg2 and arg3 are the types of strings so we have to convert a string to integer before performing arithmetic operations so you know that these are the strings now we are converting these strings into integers by using using a to i function What are zero and are one denote in command line arguments? Option one: pointers to first two command line arguments arguments supplied. Option two: file name and pointer to first command line arguments supplied. Option three: program name and pointer to the first argument. Option four: none of these. So the answer is correct. Two: file name and pointer to first command line arguments supplied. Which one of these is equivalent to arg c? option 1 number of arguments option 2 number of arguments minus 1 option 3 number of arguments plus 2 option 4 number of arguments plus 1 so the answer is number of arguments plus 1 what will be output of the following program if argument passed to the command line arguments program 142 as include stdo.h int main int arg c Character star arg v, while arg c minus minus print of percentage is arg v of arg c. Option one two four one option two garbage value two four one option three garbage value two four one program p r o g option four infinite loop. So the answer is two four one. Here we are printing percentage means character character array. <coughs> What will be output of the following program if argument passed to command line arguments are demo 1 2 3 as include stdo.h int main arg c character arg v print of percentage t star star plus arg v so option 1 n option 2 0 option 3 t option 4 compile time error so the answer is o here explanation here arg v denotes array of pointers so arg v holds the address of the command line argument passed plus plus arg v denote the address of next location which holds the address of the second argument star plus plus arg v denote the value stored at the address the address of the first character of the second argument and star star plus plus arg v itself denote the character o question number 6 what will what will be output of the following program if argument passed to command line or command lines are demo friday as include stdo.h int main int arg c character arg v print of percentage g star plus plus arg v of 1 option 1 is equal to r option 2 f option 3 i option 4 d explanation arg v1 can be written as star arg v plus 1 comma arg v plus 1 denote the address of the next location which holds the address of second argument thus star arg v plus 1 or arg 1 denote the value stored at that address denote the address of first character of the second argument plus plus arg v 1 denote the address of the second character of the second argument so star plus plus arg 1 itself denote the character r what is the output of this c code hash include void main m void main void m print of simple way to code 
option one simple way to code option two compile time error option three nothing option four varies so compile time error because with we are not closing the main function but internally we are writing another function that is not at all possible what is the output of this c code hash include void main static int x is equal to 3 x plus plus if x less than equal to 5 print a follow main option 1 runtime error option 2 hello option 3 infinite hello option 4 hello hello option 4 is correct why because while we are defining static the previously calculated value will be stored initially x is equal to 3 then x will become 3 and 3 x will become 4 4 is less than equal to 5 so we need to print one hello again we need to call main and the the value of x is now 4 not 3 and 4 will be incremented to 5 5 less than equal to 5 so it is true then we need to print the hello after that again main goes to back the value of x is equal to 5 and it is incremented 6 so 6 is less than equal to 5 is wrong so hello hello will be printed the value obtained in the function is given back to main by using dash keyword option 1 written option 2 static option 3 new option 4 volatile option 1 written is correct what is the problem in the following declarations int function int double function int int function float option 1 a function with same name can cannot have different signatures option 2 a function with same name cannot have different written types option 3 a function with the same name cannot have different number of parameters option 4 all of the mentioned so this is right